today we will discuss about parkinson disease pathological mechanism uh, we have also covered a video on this parkinson disease in the past you can refer that video however in this video we will uh, discuss in uh, depth uh, compared to our previous videos we will start with this panel a so the parkinson disease before going into the diagram uh, let me give you a brief overview uh, only the 10 to 15 percent of Parkinson disease occurs because of the genetic mutations. Rest of them occurs uh, because of the uh, disruption in the cellular homeostasis, and this might lead to even this mitochondrial impairment, asosomal impairment, vesicle transport abnormalities, and the disruptions in the synaptic trafficking, and that will finally leads to the death of the neuron. So. Uh, let us now go to the panel A, in which case the main reason for this Parkinson disease is this co is this uh, formation of this alpha sinoleukin because of the disruption in the cellular homeostasis. Uh, that is uh, the alpha uh, alpha sinoleukin will uh, form a levy kind of body, and then we, thereafter it will co nucleize and that disrupt the structure or disrupt the uh, structure of this microtubule that is microtubule destabilization however the correct mechanism how this occurs is not yet known and some people even believe that it's uh, it can be in the reverse side also for example microtubules uh, might cause this alpha syn aggregations and some people say that alpha syn aggregations or will cause the disruption of this microtubules or the so let us reiterate this some people say that microtubule destabilization might cause this alpha syn aggregations or this alpha syn aggregations uh, might cause this microtubule destabilization however which is the cause and which is the effect is not yet been known or it's not yet been uh, made into a general consensus among the scientific community so and the other things that this how this microtubule destabilization occurs is uh, by this deacetylation the post translation modification such as deacetylation or uh, disruption in the tyrosine uh, de uh, tyro uh, uh, de will cause uh, disruptions in these microtubules for example this uh, formation of this more this uh, genes that is uh, gene that is uh, 32, 32 will cause the microtubule destabilization uh, and that will lead to the destabilizations. So, and the people have even checked that uh, using the chemical inhibitor for this SIR2, they can see that the microtubule st st stabilizations increased and also the formation of uh, the homeostasis within the cells will also has also been seen to be improved. And other things that people have observed in this case of uh, uh, Parkinson's disease is that lemon B formations in the nucleus goes down, and because of that, and because of that, what they have observed is that the functioning of this nucleus will also get uh, affected in a way that epigenetic changes might occur in those kind of uh, cells. So this is about the uh, panel A. Now let us quickly go through this panel B. The panel B is also talks about this uh, alpha synuclein sy and um, in this case the alpha synuclein and the spectrin uh, formations will lead to this affecting uh, complex structures formations and uh, the, the complex that they forms the spectrin alpha silin will cause this actin filament pathogen changes will cause the changes in this affecting spectrin structures and it might cause the pathogenic changes that will cause that will cause neurotoxicity at the same time it will have also affect the mitochondria in a way that this drp1 will be, uh, gene become uh, delocalized and it will also leads to this neurotoxicity neurotoxicity so uh, and the, this is just uh, one part and people have seen that if they increase the amount of this spectrin then this uh, effect of this spectrin alpha silin can be uh, reduced and so what will happen when this actin filaments got uh, released to the pathogenic changes how it will cause neurotoxicity that it will 
leads to this kind of structures formation that is actin collagen rod structures formations and this actin collagen law structures formations will have will disrupt the homeostasis of the cells and might also lead to the neuron deaths and uh, and these uh, actin collagen structures formation not only formed because of this pathogenic changes but it will also form because of the increase in the amount of f actins and uh, apart from this uh, if uh, the there is a disruption uh, if the, these things can be uh, recovered if the over expression of this drp1 has will be uh, uh, will be induced in this kind of cells so that the homeostasis of this mitochondria can be recovered however if there is homo if the cells gets delocalized if the delocalization occurs in the mitochondria that will cause mitochondria impairment then it needs to be uh, removed or it needs to be uh, degenerated or recycled and these things can be occurred in, in this way that is uh, affectins will uh, isolate the defected micro impaired or defected mitochondria through the ubiquitation process or the you uh, and thereafter it will and divert them towards lysosomes for degradations however these things can also be disrupted uh, disrupted if the genes that are involved in this process such as this prkn mediated mitophag uh, uh, mitophagy genes involved in this uh, process uh, will be mutated then or is mutated then this kind of uh, isolations of the mi impaired mitochondria will not occur and that will leads to uh, the this mitochondria interactions with the healthy mitochondria and that will cause uh, that will lead to the uh, we can say uh, increase mitochondria impairment within the cells and that will also lead to the cellular disruptions in the cellular homeostasis and the other things that they talk about is uh, this nucleus this mitochondria the motor that is myosin 7b motor interacts with this hpsc proteoglycans and this hpsc proteoglycans thereafter helps in this uh, inhalation uh, helps in this endocytosis of this alpha nuclein fibrin and this uh, endocytosis of the alpha nuclein fibrin uh, from the ssl matrix will also uh, promote will also promote or uh, this will also uh, promote this increased amount of alpha uh, synuclein within the cells or in the cytosols and it will leads to the upregulations of this rock roe pathways and rock roe pathways will cause increase in the amount of ca2 plus and that will inhibit this coffin formations and that might affect this actin dynamic uh, deregulations and finally we will uh, come to discuss about this myo6 roles myo6 also has a roles towards this uh, prkn mediated autophagy at the same time this myosins uh, will uh, myosin 6 will also uh, help in this uh, mitochondrial uh, homeostasis and if this myosin 6 deficiencies are found then it will also lead then it will lead to this increase in the mitochondrial volume in a way that the impaired mitochondria will not be uh, discharge will not be recycled or uh, recycled through the lysosomes because of the impaired function of this prk and mediated autophagy and uh, that will cause this uh, mitophagosomes accumulations so and these are the different uh, uh, ways by which this parkinson disease affected cells behave if you need to understand more about this Parkinson disease pathological mechanism in detail, you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description and thereafter you can find the correct cross reference to understand the things in detail. So that's all for this video. Thank you for your time.